Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert JSON files to CSV files using Python. So here in the current working directory we have doctors.json file which we're supposed to convert to CSV. So without further ado, let's actually start writing some code. First we need to import a couple of libraries, so import JSON and import CSV. So the first is needed to work with the JSON-like data and the second is needed to write the CSV file to the disk and now let's create a doctor's variable here which would be the type of python string and now let's open the file called doctors.json so in order to do that i need to say with open uh, doctors.json and i want to read the file stream as file here and simply say for line in f.read we need to uh, populate the doctors uh, variable here by saying doctors plus equals line so now we can print our doctors to console and see the content of this particular file here so uh, it's the plain uh, uh, plain json file so it's now now it's kind of type of string so the next step to consider here is actually to convert this string to uh, a Python dictionary object. So in order to do that, we need uh, simply to say doctors equal doctors equals JSON dot loads and using the doctors as the argument. Execute this one more time. So here we see that our uh, file uh, has been our data has been converted to Python dictionary over here. We also can pretty print this using JSON dumps commands. By the way, so if we say JSON dumps and the doctors and also specify the indentation equals to two spaces in this case we can okay dumps like this in this case we'll have a pretty printed uh a pretty print printed kind of file here but that doesn't really matter that much so just comment this line out so the second thing to consider here is actually to uh use uh this uh to use this uh, sort of variable as the source to write our CSV file. But before that, let me just show you one little thing here. So we just print uh, the type of uh, doctors here. Then we'll see that it's a uh, it's a class, it's a list class. And if we print the type of the very first or whatever element, then we'll see that it's a class of Python dictionary. So bearing that in mind, uh, we need to specify the particular configurations regarding the CSV module here. So uh, in order to uh, write the CSV first, we need to say with open uh, now specify the file name. Let's call this doctors dot CSV. And this time we want to write to the file stream as file like this. Now let's create the writer object that would be equal to CSV dot dictionary writer. Remember what I've just shown you. So uh, we have a list of dictionaries. That's the case where, when we want to use the uh, CSV's dict writer built-in method here. So it takes two arguments. The very first one is the file stream itself and the second is the column name. So in order to extract the column names we need simply to say doctors and then reference uh, whatever element. Well let's take the very first one and as far as the type of this element is Python dictionary we can extract the keys which would return us a list of keys of the particular dictionary. So this uh, data would serve us as the uh, source for the column names in our CSV table. So the second, uh, the next thing to consider here is uh, to write the column names to the CSV file. So in order to do that, we need to say writer dot write right here like this. And the very last thing left here is actually to uh, loop over, sorry, uh, we need to loop over the doctors so we say for doctor in doctors and here we need simply to say writer writer dot write row and the doctor as as the argument if i just execute this step so already we probably have a csv file available so let's quickly check that out so I'll just list our files here so here we have our doctors.csv so uh, now let me show you a quick hack of how can we extract the data quickly from the remote python anywhere server so just duplicate this stuff i've created a little library called hacks so let's say import hack 
uh, it allows it forwards the basic Linux command to Python development environment that I've created for remote web scraping purposes and presented over here in this video. So I can simply say hack dot ls and see what's available in our uh, what is available in our uh, remote server and in order to actually see the content of the doctors.csv file we need simply to say cat doctors.csv this uh, this sort of method uh, actually forwards the uh, standard cat uh, uh, function from uh, bash console so to say here we say cat doctors.csv it would return us the entire stuff so but i just don't want to copy this from console instead i want to copy this from this sort of view so if i just simply say cat doctors.csv and execute this code so here i have uh, all the data available now I just simply copy this and go to my local environment here and I just create a new file called doctors.csv and oh oops don't really need LibreOffice at the moment so just open this with the regular text editor and just paste the content in and store this stuff and now I just can open this with the LibreOffice or Excel or whatever uh, shit uh, uh, rendering program you have so here we have uh, our data converted to csv file here so every every single key is now treated to be a column name and its value uh, is located in the, in the corresponding row so this is kind of it guys i hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something interesting from this so until next time and take care